Hello everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing a game that I didn't even know existed until recently, actually. I haven't really been keeping up with his games. We're talking about Swery65 here. He's mostly known for his work on Deadly Premonition, and he has just released this crazy-ass Xbox One game that I am so happy to be reviewing for you, and that is D4. Now, Swery intrigues me just about as much as Suda51 does, challenging the way we think about games and unleashing these insane yet genius concepts that are oftentimes void in the industry, something I like to call untapped potential. There are far too many developers who sacrifice that wild creativity for something more caterable. Now that's fine and dandy, but you sacrifice a lot of excitement and fun in the experience. Now, as I mentioned before, Swery is most known for his third-person shooter, Deadly Premonition, this absurd Lynchian trip that I adored. <laughs> I, I just absolutely have total mad respect for. Now, this was my first foray into Swery's works, and very much like Suda51's Killer7, I couldn't look back. I didn't want to. I wanted to indulge in more of what these developers had to offer uh, and something that I really enjoyed. So Swery just recently released D4, which is an episodic Xbox One point-and-click thriller. And I love it because it has even more absurdities to explore. D4, which has no affiliation with the D horror series, which also confused me to no end and made me actually think this was a horror game. I'm kind of happy it wasn't because I can't actually play very many horror games. But anyways, this game puts you in the shoes of David Young, formerly of the Boston PD's narcotics unit. David quit the force after his wife, little Peggy, is killed in a shooting that may or may not have something to do with a new and incredibly popular street drug called Real Blood. During the crime, David also took a bullet to the head, yet somehow survived. As if this should be any surprise, the lead in his brain has given him the unique ability to travel back in time using mementos, objects that are associated with key moments in history. He uses these objects to solve crimes by inserting himself into the past, physically engaging and conversing with the world around him. Now do keep in mind that, as I mentioned, D4 is episodic in scope. So what I'm reviewing for you right now is not actually the full game, we're only three parts of the whole. However, reviewing something like this was a no-brainer for me, because the more exposure this game gets, the more likely we are to get the rest of the parts. Now in my mind, any exposure is good exposure, and I feel like I'd be doing myself a total disservice by not reviewing a game that fits my ridiculous tastes. D4 does well in structuring its gameplay around point-click adventures, particularly because it's a detective story, the amazing hotel desk comes to mind. As a way to mix things up, D4 implements various real-time button prompts to keep you on your toes, a la Quantic Dream. Ah, I really, really miss Indigo Prophecy. I want to see another game like that. <laughs> Uh, while overall the gameplay is very linear because of range limitations, one moment you're in David's apartment, the next you're in an airplane, he kind of wants Swery to string you along on another one of his mind benders and unveil the truth to the mystery. And what a cliffhanger it leaves you with! As if this story isn't already strange enough, the characters and scenarios you're put into are just as kooky. Most notably Roland, the tall black dude in white suit who follows you around. He is so creepy, but he's just so sweet at the same time. <laughs> or David's pet cat turned human, Amanda. I just gotta love her clothing shop. <laughs> Part of the fun of D4 is meeting the cast and wondering to yourself, how much weirder could this get? About as weird as a sinner sandwich. Oh, that's weird. One last thing I do want to mention is that D4 is Kinect compatible, which might sound awful and horrible and something you want to avoid at all costs, but it's supposedly far from it, from what I hear at least. I can't speak for it myself, but it might be worth checking out. I hear the game is actually really fun when you do use it. Easily the strangest game on the Xbox One, and hopefully not the last, D4 is like my wet dream. To be honest, it's intriguing, it's fun, and it's got fun gameplay to boot. Like, I, I really, I can't complain. This game has Swery's signature kookiness, and it blends it in with a gameplay style that really suits its skin. So, I really hope, <laughs> I really hope you enjoy my review of D4. 
The sandwich is surprisingly good. The first bite was weird, but it got really good. I'm going to be leaving a recipe below for sinner sandwich. If you don't know, sinner sandwich is a popular sandwich in Deadly Premonition that I made just for this review because I thought, why not, right? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my review of D4. I really hope they're going to be releasing more episodes soon because this is a crazy game. I really enjoyed it a lot. I really want to see more of and I think you guys should check it out too if you're looking for something really different. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, really, really happy to have checked out this game and I really hope you check it out too. So please stay tuned for lots more content this week. Please make yourself a sinner sandwich and I'll see y'all later, okay? Alright, peace.